NX11 contains a number of tools that will help you manage the views of your assemblies and the types of displays available uh, to better allow you to focus on particular areas of interest. We'll look at just a few of them here. I'm going to start with uh, a couple of buttons involving hidden wireframe. So these are off right now. If I choose analysis measure distance and I want to grab a point off the back of the part, well I, I can certainly grab a, a point here, but it's not going to let me grab anything that's hidden by this front face. Okay, let's make a change there. I'm going to turn both of these buttons on. This is allow selection of hidden wireframe and highlight hidden edges. Now as I move back I get a very different behavior and uh, not only is it allowing me to get to those key points, but uh, it highlights the edges as well. If I turn off this box, highlight hidden edges, I can still get to the key points here, but uh, it's not highlighting, highlighting those edges anymore. Uh, another situation that we sometimes face is we'd like to be able to see through our assemblies, and there's actually several tools there for helping us do doing that in NX11. Uh, let's start by turning on this button, See Through All. Now you notice I've got a, a large rectangular sketch on the back. Uh, the mode I'm in right now is sort of creating a shell out of the assembly, so I'm not really seeing anything internal to my machine, but I'm certainly seeing right through it uh, so that I can select that sketch. Now let's look at how these options are set up. We need to go here to More, and again I'm, I'm on the, the View tab here. Uh, more and the this is the area that we're focusing on here so let's uh, turn on see-through shell that's kinda what we've got right now then uh, see-through original color shell so this is very similar but it's just using the original colors to create that shell if that's more helpful and there is one other option here that is see-through layers uh, this is a little more complex but now we s are seen inside of our assembly but we still can look completely through it uh, and visualize that sketch on the back side. Okay, now it gets a little more complicated when we are focused on an individual component. So let's take my, my uh, part here and I'll double click. And so now that's my work part, uh, de-emphasizing the parts in the background and we want to look at those options now. So if I choose uh, see through all now you see it's everything is in that mode I'm going to change first back to see through shell and now I want to say see through de-emphasized objects only so when I turn off this box watch what happens I'm seeing my work part uh, in its normal shaded mode but everything else is in that shell mode. Again, the, the important thing there is to have see-through de-emphasized objects checked on, but then see-through all is unselected. And again, that's uh, useful when you have a, a work part selected. Okay, there was a, another option in there. While I have this on the work part, Let's go to uh, my part navigator and I'm going to choose an individual round in here that I want to look at. Give you this edge blend right here. Okay, when you look at this, you see that uh, it's kind of displaying the tangent points of the corner and everything, but I can't really see the blend right now. If I come back to the More tab and I choose See Through Preview, that changes my display and focuses, allows me to focus on the actual geometry of the blend and it's sort of making translucent the geometry uh, surrounding it that has not been consumed yet. So that's uh, See Through Preview and that's just an, a nice option to leave on and that is involved with uh, part modeling features only. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to return here to my assembly tab. There's a, a button here that um, uh, allows you to find objects in the navigator, whether they're part objects or features. So let's look at that now. 
I'm going to go right back to this this feature I was just looking at. We know that that's a blend, but uh, maybe we're not really sure where that is in our model. So while it's selected, Find in Navigator uh, is now active, and I can select, and that takes me right to the part Navigator and shows me where that blend is. Okay, now what? Uh, let's say I've got a part I want to select. And I can use this actually the same command again, find in navigator, and it takes me now to the assembly navigator and shows me where that component is, and it will actually open up the tree to, uh, to find that for me. Okay, now I'll finish up with just a couple of uh, view techniques that are useful on the manufacturing side. So let's go to manufacturing now. And we'll look at how uh, these display techniques uh, kind of dovetail in with what we just discussed. So I want to go to some of the milling commands here, for instance, cavity mill pocket. When I highlight that, it's highlighting the geometry and the tool path. But the display of the blank here is hiding uh, my tool path. I can't actually see what's going on. So let's go back to view again and we'll choose see through all and uh, that's uh, a nice effect for us it's now made the the blank translucent and I can then see my uh, operation I'm sorry my uh, the center line of my tool and I can also see the the blank and the, the part geometry highlighted there okay now uh, what options though are required so that you can see that on the screen when you select an operation and you're seeing the geometry and the toolpath. Uh, we need to go to File, Utilities, Customer Defaults, and then it's under Manufacturing, User Interface, and here are the selection options that are required uh, to have the display techniques that, uh, that I'm showing here in the demo. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful and gives you some new tools for managing your parts and assemblies in NX11.